Hi guys. Um, today I'm filming a video all about college because y'all wanted to know about it and because I want to talk about it, so I'm going to. This is my bed. I decided to sit in it because I felt like it would be more casual. If you didn't know, which you probably don't, I used to have my own room, but now I share a room with Kara. So this is the only space I can film, right, Kara? I don't, I actually like don't know how to start this because college is just like such a huge thing and like. There's so much that goes into it. I didn't know what I was gonna do until like about eight months ago. Uh, my whole life, I knew I was gonna go to college. I just didn't know where I wanted to go. I never had a dream college. I never had a dream career. I just knew that I didn't want like an office job and I don't think anyone really does anymore. I've always been in theater, so I kind of wanted to stay with theater and like film. And I also really like fashion. So I was like, hey, I should combine those. So then I started getting into costume designs, but ultimately like with my costume design degree, I want to work in film and TV, but I obviously know that that's not super steady, so I'm gonna minor in political science. I've always really liked history, I've always been pretty good at it, and I really like psychology, and so like um, political science is kind of like a little bit of both. When I first started looking for colleges, I actually started pretty late. I know a lot of people my age will like started their the May of their junior year, like starting to apply and like getting all their scores or whatever, but like, I didn't do that. I actually started like in August. I didn't even start looking for colleges that I wanted to go to until August, which is kind of late, but it's okay because it all worked out. I guess I'll just say my stats because some people don't say their stats, but like I'll tell them it's not a big deal. My PSAT score was actually like, it was an 1180. So it turns out I forgot my PSAT score. I went back and looked and it was actually a 1270. So yeah. So I obviously didn't get National Merit Scholar. If you guys don't know what that is, I mean, you can look it up, but it's basically like this big thing if you're a National Merit final list which is based off of your PSAT scores your junior year which doesn't make any sense none of this is gonna make a lot of sense those scores will qualify you to be a National Merit Scholar and the National Merit Scholars get big money for college I wasn't even close to being or qualifying for that but my scores were good enough for National Hispanic Scholar y'all didn't know my dad is Mexican so I'm half Mexican so I was able to get that so I can put that on my college applications. And then I took my SAT right after my PSAT my junior year and I got a 1280. I took it again August before my senior year, so like almost a year later. Didn't study at all for it, literally did not take an English class for like four months. I can't read. Like, I really can't and I think it's because like social media changed me but I really think it did. Like, I, my attention span is so small. And so my SAT score went down like a hundred points and like the thing is is that your score is supposed to go up by a hundred points so I sent my junior year SAT scores my 1280 to all my schools update I took another SAT March 9th so like, like two weeks ago turns out I'm actually going to a different school so I didn't even have to take it again but because I spent the money on it I just wanted to see how good I could do because I knew I was frustrated because I didn't try in the other test so I studied a little bit and I was able to get a 1350. This is just me trying to tell you that I wish I took my SAT tests and PSAT more seriously and I wish I actually applied myself for them because all these standardized tests are so stupid. They don't like represent your intelligence, I don't think, but they are important for college and I wish I took it seriously, so. Hey, it's me on another day, again. I didn't mention my GPA, but it was a 3.89 on a 4.0 scale. <laughs> Okay, I forgot what I was talking about. Kara, do you remember what I was talking about? I mm, wasn't listening, watching TikToks. Oh, so there's something called early action and early decision. So I didn't know what these were, but basically if you apply to a school early decision, it means that your decisions will come back earlier than usual. Because if you just like do like regular decision, your decision, like, or, like if you're in the school or not, won't come out till like March or April and that's way too late for me because I freak out and I'm indecisive so I knew I had to give myself time to think about where I was going to go. So I applied to all my school's early decision. The first school I applied to was NAU which is in Flagstaff, Arizona. I love Flagstaff so I looked into it and then applied there which cost I think like $60. Oh, another thing is that it is so expensive to apply to schools. So like, I don't understand how people are applying to like 18 colleges because each college costs like a hundred dollars to send your scores because you have to send your scores and it costs money to send your scores. I have to pay $45 to take a test and then I have to pay $12 to get it shipped 
to my school that I'm applying to that I may not even go to. So my tip for you is if you're planning to go to college, save up money for the application process because it hit me like a brick. So yeah, the first school I applied to was NAU. I'm not going there, but I got accepted. Let me see if I can find my letter. So, oh, got it. Your journey begins now, except I'm not going to your college. The next college that I applied to was actually the University of Washington, the Seattle location. Their decisions came out like a month ago. I got rejected, which I'm not really surprised because my scores are that good. Then the next school I applied to was Baylor University in Texas, which would be in-state for me, but it's a private school, so it was like 60 grand a year. That's a pass from me. Like I applied early decision, but then they're like, you're deferred. So you're not gonna get your decision till later. But then I went to an interview with their theater program, got into their costume design thing. And yeah, and then I got a pretty good aid from them. Like after like all the financial aid stuff came through, they said I would only be paying 32,000 a year <laughs> only. That's still really expensive. So I'm not gonna be going to Baylor, but I actually really liked it. I think it's a cool school. I don't know where my Baylor acceptance letter is. But they sent a really fancy one. I forgot all about everything. Okay, so here's my... Dang! This isn't it either. I ended up getting accepted. I don't know if I already said that. I think the reason why I got deferred was because I hadn't been accepted into my major yet. So they couldn't accept me into the school until I'm accepted into my major. For theater kids, it's like a two-step process. Like you have to... Um, interview slash audition for the theater department and then you have to get into the school so it's like two processes at once. Another school that I looked into that was in Texas was Texas State University which is one of the bigger schools in Texas and I love Texas State. I got accepted. It is so cool like it has a river but that the water is so clear you can see the bottom of it and that's just a river but the school is beautiful San Marcos, which is the city it's in, is like the cutest college town I've ever seen in my life. And I adored that school. And it was so cheap compared to the other school that I applied to. But they just didn't have what I wanted in my degree. So unfortunately, I will not be going there. Baylor and Texas State were the only schools I applied for that were in Texas. Oh, I applied to one school in New York. It was Marymount, Manhattan. But yeah, I got into that school. I was down to two schools around January of this year. Like really really close to two so I went to a college fair in November and then there I met two professors of these schools I got a call back from both schools which basically meant that they were interested in me and wanted to talk to me after the interview so I went to their booths and got both the informations and set up interviews for both of these schools for Oklahoma City University um, it's a private university it's like 1500 people to put that in perspective my high school class my senior class alone is 1100 students this university would be much smaller than the school that i was going to and i'd never heard of it before this college fair and by that time of the college fair i'd already applied to like four school i can't keep count i don't i don't know i already applied to these schools and i wasn't really looking for another school but they just found me i ended up having an interview with oklahoma city december 7th so i interviewed with them got a really good theater scholarship and then realized that this school gives free tuition to National Hispanic Scholars. And if you remember at the beginning of the video, I told you that I am one. Even though I kind of cheated the system because like I'm not even like that smart, I just happen to be half Hispanic. I was able to get free tuition at the school and this, the tuition was like 30,000 a year. So it brought it down to I really only have to pay room and board. So it's like way lower than in-state cost for me even though it's out of state because it's in Oklahoma City. I don't know if I said that already. The school's in Oklahoma City in downtown. It's really cute. I did that interview in December, but I was like, I'm not gonna get my hopes up because I still have two more interviews. OU was, OU was the University of Oklahoma. It's a public school in Oklahoma. It's like one of the biggest ones there. It's only like two and a half hours away from where I live because I live in like North Texas. It's actually closer than Texas State was and Texas State is in my state, if that makes sense. Like as I've grown closer to like actually leaving my house, I realized that I want to stay kind of close because if I like went across the country for school, I think I would have a panic attack like every single day. And that's it. The University of Oklahoma is such a beautiful school. It's like the typical like college experience it's in a college town the school is beautiful and i loved the costume professor so much like everything about that school was just so cool 
except I don't know if I really want to go to a big school. I had an interview with OU the 23rd of February. So by this time, I had eliminated all the other schools except for Oklahoma City. Went to the interview, loved it. I loved it even more because I toured it when I went to audition in December. But then it got me thinking, wow, um, this is actually pretty expensive. And how could I pass up? an almost full ride just because I like this school like maybe a little bit more like maybe maybe not even I liked the way that it looked better and you know like people want to go to like big schools and like college experience like football a part of me was like I should have the American college experience like I need to go I need to be in a sorority like a huge sorority I need to go to football games I need to do this I need to be in a big huge school in a college town but like being in debt really freaks me out so I know I just, even though I love OU, I just can't go there. It's me again. I know you're surprised. But the clip of me saying I was going to Oklahoma City is really ugly. So I just decided to refilm it because I really can't put that on my channel. I can't. I can't. I just cannot. I'm going to Oklahoma City University in the fall. And I'm really excited. I was talking a lot of hype about OU. But, like, I really am so excited to go to Oklahoma City. I know it's a better fit for me and my personality. And even though the school isn't as like flashy as OU, it's still beautiful and I'm so excited, so yeah. I literally didn't even know it was a school until November, but I really have fallen in love. I've already met my roommate. I haven't met her, but like I found a roommate. I adore her. I'm so excited. It'll be like around under 10,000 a year for me, which is still expensive, but it's so much more manageable than the other schools I was looking into. And I really think I'm gonna be happy there. I really honestly thought that Oklahoma only had dirt. Like I didn't realize it had anything else besides just like red dirt. And surprise, they do. It's actually a pretty state. Or like the parts that I've been to. If you're about to be a senior this upcoming school year, like you're gonna graduate 2020, I wish you luck. If you need help with anything, um, DM me. I will try to answer and help you out the best I can. And yeah, that's about it. Yeah.